you know I really don't understand this camera because I'm trying to do the things and when I decide to come back here it's like you guys went blind hello guys and we are back with another video because shiro plus video equates to shidio and I'm glad you're back to see what I have next to offer guys I just have to say something <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but the quality of this video has changed. And let me just tell you, I am currently using a Nikon camera right now. I don't know for how long, but we will just thrive in this energy while we're still here. I'm really excited for using this thing. So today, guys, what I'm going to be doing for you is reviewing an Indian film because I've already done uh, Golion Ram Lila, Ras Lila, Ram Lila, except this time I'm doing one that was made like in 1998, and it is called Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. The English translation is something happens, something dot dot dot, something happens, slash something is happening. Either way, we know that something happens, okay? It's kind of an open-ended definition. I think that makes it even more enticing. The film was made in 1998. It was a success. I must have been like in grade one when I first watched this movie, I think. So the fact that I still think this movie is great, you should say a lot. The three things that I will be looking at is, first of all, I'll be talking about acting. Next of... Next of all, I'll be talking about the storyline and then lastly, I'll be speaking about the music because you guys know I'm a musical person and we know the fact that this is Bollywood and they have musicals is just a great combination for me. But that is going to be the structure for this video. As I said, I'm going to start off with acting. I think it's important for you guys to at least have a picture of who these people are by the time I delve into the storyline. So I'll be describing four of the main characters to the story even though they are supporting characters in the film. But these four are actually, they're the ones. They are the ones, okay, that we want to know about. So I'm going to tell you about the actors and then I will tell you what I think about their acting. The first person that I will be bringing up to the stand is Shahrukh Khan who is playing Rahul in the film. And then the next person that we have is Kajol, who plays Anjali in the film. And then next up we have Rani Mukherjee. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please forgive me if I'm wrong. She plays Tina. And then last but not least, we have Anjali. I'm gonna call her baby Anjali because it's gonna get confusing once I go into the storyline. And she is played by Sana Saeed. I was about to do this and then I just, I, I, I malfunctioned. So those are the four main characters to the story. Now, just to give you a bit of background as to what type of characters they are, Rahul, I would say, is a playboy of a guy. He's basically in the film, you know, chasing after girls in college and being like, I love you, I love you, I love you. And he is best friends with Anjali. Who is a tomboy. She doesn't really care about guys. She's always telling him that he's always chasing after girls, you know, being the best friend type of girl. And then Tina, she's like the new girl on the block. She's just really good looking and she's very confident and she is feminine. She's like a mature type of feminine kind of woman. And Rahul ends up, you know, falling. He's the one, she's, he's the one that she, she's the one that he ends up chasing after. Lastly, we have baby Anjali and she's basically the future daughter of Rahul and Tina. So already you guys can picture how the story goes. Now you want to know about the acting and I have to say that I thought the acting was impeccable just because they really were able to convey their emotions across the screen. I felt like I as a viewer was able to feel what the characters were feeling at that point. And I'm not saying it's impeccable just because you know, like there are different standards of greatness for each country-ish. Um, so I'm not saying that for an Indian movie it's great. I'm saying it is great, period. I think I would give this movie for acting a 9 out of 10. So now we're delving into the storyline because now you guys have like a picture of the characters themselves. You have to at least know that we're going through different timestamps. We're dealing with the past and the present at the same time up to a certain point in the movie because we're just trying to get a bit of history behind the story. So the movie starts off with Tina having given birth to a baby girl and there are 
issues during the, the labor and she has complications and she dies. However, before she dies, she leaves letters. She leaves eight letters for Anjali to read, one each for each of her birthdays. So at this point in the movie, we are at the stage where Anjali, baby Anjali, is turning eight and we are dealing with her last letter that she's received from her mother so baby Anjali is reading the story behind what happened before her birth basically the mother is trying to paint a picture of the relationship that Rahul and Anjali had before she entered into their lives we're in a college scene just so you know college university call it what you want so Tina ends up coming into the college and Anjali is very welcoming of Tina because Anjali is a tomboy as a tomboy she doesn't really see Tina as competition as some of us girls look at other girls as competition let's be real out here so Anjali is fine with Tina but Rahul ends up getting captivated by Tina and so now he's putting all his you know sad dishes on the side <laughs> and Anjali doesn't really care because she doesn't really care about Rahul in that way but something happens oh my gosh In one of the classes, the teacher is teaching English. The teacher ends up asking them what they think love is. And nobody in the class has an answer. And Rahul, being the charismatic boy that he is, seizes the opportunity to, you know, kind of like send a message vicariously to Tina saying that love is friendship. Pyaar. Mm -hmm. Pyaar dosti hai. So this is just a train smash to the whole situation because Anjali is in that class and she hears this definition and because they are both best friends she's thinking that he's speaking about her in a way and so from this point on in the movie her feelings for him begin to brew okay she's just stirring that part of emotions by herself not knowing that Rahul is actually speaking about Tina so we can already see that there's this love triangle happening except that Anjali is the odd one out Tina begins to have feelings for Rahul and Rahul has feelings for Tina and nobody has feelings for Anjali okay there's really no villain to this storyline even though we feel like there always has to be that bad guy in a storyline to make a good storyline so Rahul ends up telling Anjali about his feelings for Tina and at that point Anjali is just taking a step back and encouraging him to tell Tina about his feelings for her. She ends up deciding to leave. At this point, we've reached the end of the letter that baby Anjali is reading that is from Tina telling the story. And at the end of the letter, Tina tells baby Anjali to get Rahul and Anjali back together. So at this point, we reach intermission and we're busy digesting all of this information. So the remainder of the movie is about the present. We're done with the history. So baby Anjali is on a mission to bring her father, now widow, together with Anjali. She finds out that Anjali hosts a camp for singing and dancing and baby Anjali runs away to the camp and her father follows suit and then when he comes to the camp he finds his daughter and Anjali 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 There's the reconciliation moment. From this point onwards in the movie, they begin to grow closer together. However, the issue is that Anjali is already engaged to be married to somebody else. She hasn't told Rahul yet, and Anjali is not trying to, to pursue Rahul in any way. She's actually trying to avoid him. But at a certain point, her fiancé comes to the camp. Anjali basically panics and she leaves the camp early and she wants to get married quickly because of these conflicting emotions that she has for Rahul. And Rahul has already at this point, you know, kind of established that he likes her, you know, in a, you know, traditional way. So I'm gonna end the story there just because I want you guys to like itch for how the story ends if you decide to watch it. I don't want to give spoilers here. So for the storyline, I would give it, I would have to say I give it a 9 out of 10. I save my 10 for stories that are actually based off of real life or very believable. Um, in terms of could this be a reality that that's what I would save my um, 10 out of 10 for as for the Bollywood music I would have to give it a 10 out of 10 just because I liked all the songs but I'm just gonna give a few of my favorite songs Lucky Badi Anjani Hai Lucky Badi Anjani Hai and um, also Sajan Jiar Okay, I'm just gonna put the 
name here because I'm just going to massacre the word. Okay guys, so that was my review on the film and I really hope that you enjoyed it. So guys, please support this channel by, you know, liking it, leaving a comment down below if you felt like you liked anything about the video and also if you did end up watching the film because of this recommendation. And also subscribe to the channel. My English is going away. Hit the notification bell because I don't know and you don't know when I'm gonna post a video. So you might as well just stay aware. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you check out the film and I shall see you in the next video.